Hey, what's going on, guys? You know, it's uh, it's Preston here, and uh, you know, I kind of want to do a really serious commentary and uh, talking about my channel and stuff like that because recently, you know, the last week, I haven't really been too happy with the videos I've been uploading. You know, they're kind of mediocre, and uh, the one thing I've always prided, you know, or took pride in on my YouTube channel was the amount of effort I put into each video. You know, I would spend hours at a time getting the specific gameplay I wanted, like. Uh, uh, that USP Silence Moab, uh, MSR Moab, all these crazy gameplays that I got. So I spent a lot of time and effort into them, and then I would spend a lot of time and effort into the commentary that went into it. You know, if I didn't like the first commentary, sometimes I'd have to redo it, and sometimes I didn't like that. Sometimes it took me about 15 tries on the commentary. Um, I know that a few of my videos took over two to three hours to get the commentary perfect to just how I wanted it. And, uh, you know, that made me happy because that let me know that I put a lot of time and effort into my videos. Uh, my videos are getting really good views, getting really good ratings, and that's how I knew that you guys were appreciating the time and effort that I put into my videos. And, uh, you know, recently, uh, I th you know, like I said over the last week, haven't been too happy. I think the last good video that I did on my channel was the USP Silence Moab, and that was my 100th video. You know, I got to talk really deep with you guys, and that commentary itself took about an hour and a half because... It's something that's kind of difficult for me to talk about, and, uh, you know, I spent time getting that gameplay, and I was really happy with the video overall, and uh, I noticed you guys were also very happy with it because it got over 4,000 likes, and then, you know, after that, um, Modern Warfare 3 has just kind of lost its luster for me. I know you guys have heard this a thousand times, but Moabs are just not really fun anymore, you know, like they used to be. They used to be a lot of fun, but now I've gotten one with, like, every gun. I've gotten it with other crazy setups, and I really don't want to go get a Riot Shield Moab or, like, a, you know, a Silence Pistol. Like, people are recommending me to get a Moab with hip fire only from the sniper rifle. Like, I don't want to do that. Um, they, they, like, they want me to get a Moab by getting only headshots. Like, it's just unrealistic and boring, and, you know, it'd just be time-consuming, like, way too time-consuming, because the other Moabs, yeah, they were really difficult, um, and, you know, they're not easy to get, but at least they were, you know, possible for me to get, and I could do it in a few hours, like, getting these pistol Moabs and stuff like that, so I don't want to do that, you know, and I think it's what it's coming down to, and by the way, I have no idea what gameplay is going in the background here, so whatever it is, uh, bear with me here. Is what I really want to do with my channel is I always wanted to be Call of Duty related and, you know, focused and first person shooter focused. And I know I said this a lot before, like Marfa 3 was always going to be the main focus of my channel. But the thing is, it's run its course already. The game has already kind of expired, and I've noticed a lot of Monfort 3 commentators, their views are dropping on their videos. And I think overall, people are kind of getting a little bit agitated with the game and a little bit bored with the game. And uh, that's kind of how I am right now. And uh, I still want to do Modern Warfare 3, and I thought maybe, you know, once a week I, did, I could do, like, a crazy MOAB, like a silenced MSR MOAB, or, you know, something cool like that, or maybe some more silenced pistol MOAB, something that's unique, and that's the reason why I know you guys, a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys, I didn't even realize this, but a lot of you guys actually subscribe to me because of my personality and my commentary, and I think my enthusiast, enthusiasm, uh, except in this video I'm not really enthusiastic because it's, um, more of a real talk, more of a serious commentary than a, you know, a playful one talking about the gameplay and stuff like that. So that's just kind of where I'm at. And, you know, and then also I'd like to do like a live commentary series. I've got a really cool one coming up. It's called Road to Desolation and it is in Modern Warfare 3. So, you know, I would still be sticking to maybe two or three Modern Warfare 3 videos, maybe even more than that a week. Um, but I don't really want to keep going for these crazy Moabs and putting myself under this stress of trying to get them. And the stress of playing the game, because I notice that when I play the game a, a lot of the hours of the day, I do get really frustrated and aggravated, and, uh, you know, compared to playing other games, like, uh, there's so many other Call of Duties I can upload. There's Call of Duty 1, there's 2, 4, there's Black Ops, there's World at War, you know, and then there's Modern Warfare 2. There's so many other Call of Duties I could be playing and uploading. You know, Modern Warfare 3 is not the only Call of Duty out there. There's so many others, and I honestly do feel really bad for everybody that started playing uh, Call of Duty with Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, because they really never got to experience the awesomeness of the previous Call of Duties, and uh, to me, that's kind of it's kind of sucky. And you know, uh, the big thing is too. Look at the Call of Duty community now. I mean, Hutch quit. All right, St. Andrews barely does Call of Duty videos. White Boy Seven Street does Call of Duty videos, but he he doesn't really. Yeah, he just does the video. He doesn't really promote Call of Duty. I would say. It, it just seems like a lot of big commentators blame truth that just, like, they've moved on to other games, and, like, the most popular game now is, like, Minecraft, and, you know, don't get me wrong, Minecraft is a great game, but it's kind of sad to see such a large community, and, like, YouTube was basically started off of Call of Duty commentaries for the gaming, you know, section-wise, I mean, you know, Hutch, Blame Truth, Excalizors, all these big commentators, 
that uh, used to be, you know, out there and be the big no-named guys, they all started with Call of Duty 4. And now, you know, they're not even doing Marm for 3 videos hardly. Um, Blame Truth just started doing it a while ago. You know, Xcal does it every now and then. You know, he does like a live commentary. You know, Hutch is done with gaming apparently. He quit Machinima. And it just seems like, um, you know, the Call of Duty community, and I'm not talking about like the YouTube Call of Duty community, but just overall, it's kind of like flopping. It's, it's fizzling out. And uh, I feel like if they don't do anything special in the next few games, then uh, YouTube gaming is probably going to be primarily like Let's Plays and Minecraft. And like, that's not a bad thing. Um, but I'm not really a, a Let's Play. I mean, I guess I am kind of a Let's Play kind of guy, and I could do those videos, but what I'm really passionate about is the Call of Duty series, and, you know, I waited so long. Like, I remember I, I'd been playing COD 1, COD 2, COD 4, and I realized these games were awesome, and uh, then, you know, World of War came out. I played it on the console. I didn't even think about getting it for the PC, so I kind of waited. I was like, all right, the next Call of Duty is going to be Modern Warfare 2, and it's going to be amazing. You know, it's going to be competitive. There's going to be tournaments for it, um, like there's in COD 4, and then I found out there's no dedicated servers for PC players, there's no mod tools, there's no, there's no support. And uh, I lost faith, you know, I bought the game anyways at the midnight release. I had a bunch of fun with the game, it was great. But uh, after that kind of fizzled out, you know, after a month or two, I was like, okay, this game's cool, but, you know, where's the competitive side? Where's the mods? You know, I'm done playing the game normally. I want to play the game competitively. And that just wasn't there at the time, and it just wasn't happening. Plus, it was filled with hackers. At, at the first day the game was released, they already had an aimbot and a wall hack. How sad is that? Um, that's just really disappointing in my opinion. And then, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to continue to have faith. And then I heard Black Ops was coming out. And I was like, all right, Black Ops is going to have dedicated servers. And uh, so at least that's a step up from the last game. And the dedicated servers were great, but the game for PC was terrible. People that had like $2,000, $3,000 gaming PCs were getting like 20 frames per second. And uh, the consoles, you know, Xbox, PS3, were getting 60 frames a second, and they're $300. And that's because they released the game very, very poorly optimized for the PC. It was horrible. It was like this for like two months. You could barely play the game. And uh, that really hurt the Black Ops community for the PC. Then they didn't release mod tools for like way, way too long. So everybody went back to COD 4 or they just quit, you know. Like, I remember when Marfa 2 came out and it wasn't competitive. That's when about half of the Call of Duty 4 Pro Mod community just literally quit competitive gaming. And the teams, like there were so many teams at one point, I couldn't even tell you how many there were in COD 4. Now... I could probably tell you all the teams off the top of my head that are playing in SEVO and competitive tournaments right now. And that's just really disappointing. That's just, like, it's so, uh, it's just so sad to see the community shrink so much over the last couple of years. And then, you know, Mar for 3 was coming out, and I was like, all right, maybe this game can finally, you know, put us over the top once again as a COD community. And uh, once again, it failed. You know, the dedicated servers, are, you can't even rank up in them. Like, that's so stupid. You, nobody's going to play on them. We didn't have mod tools. The game just overall, it, it just didn't do well. Uh, it, did, it was not going to be competitive because they had been letting us down over the few years. So nobody expected it to do well, and it really didn't. And uh, But it was a really fun pub game. It got my channel started, uh, all the Moabs and stuff like that. I had a lot of fun for it in a while, but now it's kind of like, you know, it's taken its course. I'm, I'm kind of done with it. You know, I, I mean, I still want to do some crazy Moabs, like I said, once a week, and, you know, like some a really cool live commentary series in it. But I don't want to keep playing it constantly. And um, what I really want to upload right now is just, like, I want to show you guys the competitive side of Call of Duty on the PC. Like, I, I've uploaded COD 4 gameplay for Pro Mod. Um, I've uploaded scrims, you know, just public matches. I want to do, like, tutorials and helpful videos for you guys on that game. I want to do Call of Duty, Call of, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2 videos, Call of Duty 1 videos. I want to do Black Ops. I want to do some World at War, you know, some Modern Warfare 2, of course. And that's what I really want to do right now with the occasional Modern Warfare 3. And maybe, you know, who knows, maybe a Let's Play every now and then. Maybe a Minecraft video once a week. But, like I said, my channel will always be focused on, um, Call of Duty and, uh, first-person shooter games as always, and I just really wanted to let you guys know that and get that like out out of my system because I just I've been avoiding uploading on YouTube because I didn't know what to upload. I was scared that if I don't upload Marm for three, you guys are gonna hate it and I'm gonna get less views. And it's really not about the views, but it's mainly about what you guys want to see. And if if I'm uploading something uh, that I don't feel like is uh, up to par with my quality, I'm not gonna upload it. No, I'll delete it and I'll try to do it again tomorrow. I've done that so many times, but you know, right now. I'm just not feeling playing Modern Warfare 3, but I've got lots of other gameplays and uh, awesome videos and stuff like that in store um, for the other Call of Duties that I could do. 
And I just don't know how it's going to go over with, but I'm going to give it a shot, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and like it. And, I, you know, you guys have given me a lot of good feedback on the other Call of Duty 4 videos and stuff like that, so I don't see why not. And uh, that's just kind of what's going on, and I wanted to kind of vent that with you guys because you are my subscribers, and you guys have followed me. I mean, we're almost at 60,000 people now, which is a ridiculous amount. Um, it literally just seems like a, a, a few weeks ago I was at like, you know, 10,000 subscribers and it's grown so quickly. I don't want it to stop and I don't want you guys to be disappointed because I know that to follow a commentator for a long time and to see him kind of like just stop what he was originally known for doing is kind of, uh, would be kind of sad to do. Um, so I can see your standpoint in there and a lot of people now, I mean, look at the commentators. A lot of commentators just don't really play Modern Warfare 3 anymore. And uh, I know a lot of people that are just going back to the other Call of Duties because they're kind of tired of the game. And yeah, so um, I feel a lot better now. I feel like I've really like let this burden out of me. Um, I, I wanted to talk about this for a long time, and I don't like not uploading in my YouTube channel. I like uploading every day for you guys because, like I said in my uh, hundredth video, I feel like I've bonded with you guys over this time, and it's like it's like a friend texting you and then not texting back for a few days. Like that's just that's just kind of weird, you know. Um, so that's how my standpoint is on all of this that's going on. So that's kind of what I want to do on my channel. I hope you guys stick around and continue to support me. And, I mean, you guys know that I'll always bring out the best possible gameplays I can in a game that I'm passionate about and a game that I want to play, which at a time was Modern Warfare 3, but now it is not. So, you know, thank you all for understanding and, you know, sticking with me. I'm going to get back to, you know, my daily uploads on my channel. And uh, I know that you guys are going to enjoy them because I just have a feeling that you guys are really going to like it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I really do. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for all your support also on not only like getting me to almost 60,000 subscribers, but also, you know, in all of my serious videos, it seems like, or all of my really uh, videos that I put a lot of effort into, you guys always seem to really notice that and put a lot of uh, generosity and kindness on them. You like sprinkle your kindness on the video with all the ratings and comments. Like I see all these cool comments and stuff like that and it's just really nice and really really well thought out. And I do appreciate those because I do read them. I always make sure to read as many comments as I possibly can and reply to them as long as they are a uh, repliable question, if that's even a word or a saying. So thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, stay on the lookout for better content and uh yeah, so thanks for sticking with me. It's almost 60,000 subscribers. Um, remember, guys, <laughs> TBNR, the best never rests. That's what TBNR stands for. So many people ask me that question. Um, so I thought I would just tell you guys that. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. I'll see you in other videos and live streams because I've been live streaming a whole lot just because I haven't been uploading on YouTube lately. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and safe day, and I'll see you, bros. Peace. Really quick before I end this video, I forgot to mention that if I'm playing a game that I really enjoy and I'm having a lot of fun with, I'm going to be really enthusiastic and hyper and uh, that means you guys are going to pick up on that and most likely enjoy the video because I'm enjoying it. You know, if I'm playing a game and I'm enjoying it, you guys are most likely going to be enjoying it as well. But if I'm playing a game and I'm kind of like down and not having fun with it or I'm bored or something like that, you guys are going to pick up on that and it's not going to be fun or entertaining for you guys to watch. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would mention that really quick and that's kind of uh, the last thing I wanted to mention real quick. So, once again, um, this is the final goodbye. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Um, have a wonderful day. Peace out.